Let's begin to round up our prayers. To God be the glory, great and So love be the world that is God's soul. And open the life gate that all may go in. At this point, let us call on Sister Damni Apollos to round up the prayer section. And King of Kings and Lord of Lords, the ancients of days, the I am that I am. Father, you alone is God, and there is none to compare to you. You have made everything, and by your power, you do sustain them. We praise you this evening for being you. Thank you because you are not a man that can fail. Your promises are sure. We thank you for being a dependable and reliable father. If it we are not who was on our side when men rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us up. But thank you, O oh Lord, for being on our side and for all the seen and the unseen battles you have been fighting for us and giving us victory. Thank you, Father, for turning the counsels of the enemies of foolishness. Thank you for who you are in our lives, for your ever-present love that has no limitations. Thank you, Father, for joining masses where other goals and could not come back. You led us to and through. Thank you for healing mercy. Thank you for your provision of food in spite of the economic situation. You have always made way for us. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for understanding in our various homes. Thank you, Father, for your love that has no limitations, even in the church. Father, we cannot thank you enough for all the blessings you have showered upon us through this wonderful program. Thank you, Father, for having led us thus far to the 11th of this 11th, 13 days, 31 days of prayers. Thank you for the testimonies that will surely flow at the end of this program. Thank you for being God and God alone. Be thou exalted forever and ever for your over faithfulness upon our lives. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Damni Apollos, for that prayer of thanksgiving. Brethren, we shall go into prayer again. This time, we are going to pray for confession and forgiveness. We are going to use two minutes for this prayer. We shall all bow as we use two minutes for this prayer. After which, when I begin to sing from here, from SJH number 486, which a song titled, Father, I Stretch My Hands to Thee. We shall call on Sister Adamini Apollos again for conclusion. Let us all bow our head as we confess our sins and ask God for forgiveness of sins.
Father, I stretch my hands to thee, no other head I know. If thou withdraw thyself from me, and whither shall I go? I do believe, I now believe that Jesus died for me and that he shed his precious blood from sin to set me free. May God answer all our prayers of confession and forgiveness of sins in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's invite Sister Damni Apollos to round up this prayer session. Oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come. Father, we come to thee. No other help do we know. Father, we have come to thee because you have given us the privilege to call you Father. Who are we to have called you Father? Who are we that thou art so mindful of? We have failed you. We have disappointed you. We have rejected you. We have gone contrary to your will. We have gone astray. You keep back on in on us, calling on us, my dear child, come this way. But we pay deaf ears. We have failed you. Father, have mercy. Father, we, the mouth we are using to pray this moment, we have used it to speak word. As child of God, your child ought not to have spoken. But here we are. The eyes we are having before you, we used to see things we ought not to see. But here we are. Father, we ask for mercy. Not worthy to come to your throne of mercy. We are not worthy to call on your mighty and holy and stainless name. But you have given us that privilege. Father, because of your son, your dear son, that because of the love that has no limitations, even when your son cried, you could not take back him. You could not take back your word. Point when you would have said, My son could not embark on this journey. Father, you could not call him back. Because of that love that prompts you to allow your son to die on the cross of Calvary, to pass through that pain, Father, may that blood never lose its power in our lives. Father, we pray that the blood of Jesus will cleanse us from all unrighteousness, and we will be worthy children. We will be able to stand tall before you this evening. Mighty Redeemer, we are praying and pleading for mercy. To us belong foolishness. We have failed, but we are asking for mercy. We are asking for pity. Have pity on us. Have mercy on us. If thou withdraw thyself from us, where do we go? Who do we have on earth beside thee? Or in heaven, but thee and thee alone. We pray that you come to our aid. You redeemed us. You come and reclaimed us back to yourself. Mighty Redeemer, have mercy on us. We are praying from the top, from the general conference of the church to the least, to the local churches, to the branch of our schools. We are praying that you have mercy. Father, have mercy and restore your glory again. Father, have mercy and restore your presence again. Even as we gather the blessings of the Sabbath, we keep flowing. Father, we pray that you will not deprive us of anything. We pray that sin will not have dominion over us, but your presence will continually grant us victory. Thank you for redeeming us back to yourself. Thank you for a new life. Thank you for a new dawn. Thank you for answering prayers. Since we prayed with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Sister Damini, for that prayer. We are going to go into another prayer session again. This time, we are going to ask for the presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Jesus Christ made this promise before he ascended to heaven. 
And I want to let you know that the presence of the Holy Spirit in the life of a Christian is very, very important. And so for that, we are going to use three minutes to ask God for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And because of the importance of this very prayer point, we are all going to rise for this prayer, after which Pastor Adendo will round up. As you begin to hear me sing from SAH number 306, I'd like you to round up your prayers. And so right now, let us all rise as we pray individually, asking God for the presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives. I am thine, O Lord. I have had thy Lord, but I long to rise in thy arms of faith and be closer. Blessed all to thy cross where thou hast died. Draw me nearer, 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 blessed Lord, to thy precious bleeding side. Consecrate me now to thy service, Lord. By the power of grace divine, may my soul look up with a steadfast hope, and my will be lost in thine. Draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to thy cross where.
Let's pray. And with thee, my God, I commune a friend with friend. Draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to thy cross where thou hast died. Draw me nearer, nearer. Near our blessed Lord, to thy precious bleeding side. May God answer our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. At this point, Pastor Adendo shall round up this prayer session. Over us, Holy Spirit, bet our trembling heart and brow. We pray you fill us with thy hallowed presence. Come, oh, come and fill each and every one of us now. Fill us now, Lord, your children that are following up on Zoom, those that are on YouTube and Facebook. Lord, they are waiting on you. Fill us. Oh, yes, we know you can fill us, gracious spirits. We can't tell you how, oh, Lord, but we need thee. We are in that need of thee. Come and fill us now. We are very weak, full of weakness, that we have bowed at thy sacred feet. Oh, divine and eternal spirit, we pray you fill us with love. Continue, Lord, in the filling work which we are requesting. Fill us to the brim, O Lord. Cleanse us, Holy Spirit. Comfort us. Bless and save us. O oh, yes, bathe our heart and brow. O oh, the Spirit of the living God, fall afresh upon us. Fall upon us, Lord, as you release your Spirit upon your children on the day of Pentecost, that each and every one of us, Lord, will be on fire for you, that we might do exploit for you. Fill us, O Lord. Thank you, Father, for we have received thy spirit, for thou have asked us to make our request known to you. And as we have asked, Lord, we believe that it is done. Continue to live in us, O Lord. We pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Adindo, for that wonderful prayer. Uh, we are going to go into another season of prayer. This time, we are going to intercede for others. Intercessory prayers. It's a time for you to think about someone else you know and pray for that person. It's a time to look around you and look for people that God needs to do something in their lives. It might be illness, might be provision, might be revival or closeness to God as the Spirit leads you. Pray for that person. We are going to use two minutes for that special prayer. We shall all bow as we do this prayer of intercession. After which, when you begin to hear me sing from SAH number 505, you shall round up your prayers while we ask Sister Precious Appa to conclude. that prayer. Let us bow our head as we pray.
I need the prayers of those I love. Why traveling no life forget we that I may true and faithful be and live for Jesus every day. I want my friends to pray for me, to bear my tempted soul above, and intercede with God for me. I need the prayers of those I love. I want my friends to pray for me, to hold me on with wings of faith, that I may walk thy narrow way, kept by our Father's glorious grace. I want my friends to pray for me, to bear my tempted to labo, and intercede with God for me. I need the prayers of those I love. May God answer all our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. At this point, we shall call on Sister Precious Appa to round up this prayer of intercession. Our great God in heaven, our Father, our Redeemer, we come to you today. We are with hearts full of gratitude. And Lord, we bring before you, O oh God, our brothers and our sisters, our members, our neighbors, oh Lord, that are going through one challenge or the other. Father, you have instructed us to pray for one another, care for one another. And Lord, we are bringing them to your throne today. Some are going through pains, pains of diverse sicknesses, some are going through hardship. Oh Lord, due to the economy of the country, Father, some are going through, some are going through hardships. Father, we pray that you reach out to these people. Father, we ask, oh God, that you will make way for them. Lord, in the areas where they need you the most, Father, you will reach out to them. Father, some of our members, some persons, our brothers, our sisters, We pray that God shall answer all the prayers of intercession having made by his children tonight in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Precious, for that prayer. At this point in time, we shall go into another prayer session again. This time, we are going to use two minutes for this very special prayer session. We are going to pray for success in our evangelisms. We are also going to pray for God to help us accomplish all our projects, especially the fencing projects at the conference, at the mission headquarters, and uh, the building of the residential house for the officers. We are going to use two minutes for this prayer session, after which when you begin to hear 
missing the song title, God is able. You shall round up with your, your prayers as we call on Elder Nifume Bekui to round up this prayer session. Let us all bow our head as we pray. God is able, is able, I know he is able, I know my God is able to carry me through. Our God is able, is able, I know he is able, I know my God is able to carry me through. For he has been a broken hearted, he has set the captives free, he healed the sick, raised the dead, and walk upon thy sea. My God is able, is able, I know he is able, I know my God is able to carry me through. May God answer all our prayers tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Elder Nifome Bokui, can you please round up this prayer session? Our Father in heaven, we thank you so much for this great privilege you've given to us to call upon your name. We thank you because you are so good. You have said in your word, in Matthew chapter 7, that we have So we have come this evening asking you for help in this very specific area, that you grant us success in all our plans evangelism. All the building projects being planned and carried out by the mission, the fencing project, and the building of the residential house for the three officers. Grant us success, we pray. Be with us, dear Father. Other districts and groups are engaging in some form of building project or the other. We pray also for your divine help that, Lord, this project shall be accomplished. We pray that you shall help individuals too that have started or about to begin a building project, just as you have promised 
may you fulfill your promises to us that we shall build and inhabit. So be it. And may your name alone be praised as you do this for us. For we pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Thank you all. This moment we are going to go into another prayer session. This time is a personal prayer. As individual, we shall go to God, presenting our personal needs to God, asking God to help us take care of our personal challenges and help us in all the area of our needs. We are going to take two minutes for this prayer. We are going to rise for this special prayer. As you begin to hear me sing from SJH number 485, a song that is titled, I Must Tell Jesus. May you please round up your prayers while Pastor Michael Ugbobini shall round up the prayer section. Let us all rise for this special prayer. I must tell all of us, I cannot bear this burden alone. In my distress, he kindly will help me. He ever loves and cares for his own. I must tell Jesus, I must tell Jesus, I cannot bear my but in saloon, I must tell Jesus, I must tell Jesus, Jesus can help me, Jesus alone. Pastor Michael, can you briefly round up this prayer session? Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for being with your children. We present before you all our challenges, all our trials. May our garden here this evening bring testimony to those trials. Bless your children this evening. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. At this point in time, we shall all rise as we take our closing hymn. Our closing hymn tonight is selectively taken from SJH number 625. We are going to sing just the first stanza of SJH number 625. 625. Alright, we'll My soul is in conflict and so
Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for this wonderful session. Pray that your name be glorified. We thank you for all your children that participated. Lord, we pray that your hand of blessing shall be upon them. We pray, oh Lord, that all their prayer points that they presented to you, you shall answer and bless them tonight with blessings beyond their expectations. We pray, oh Lord, that it shall be well with them. Thank you, Father, for prayer answer. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. I want to say a great thank to you all, my dear lovers of Jesus Christ, that join us in tonight's program. Those of you that join from Zoom, YouTube, and Facebook, I want to tell you that God has greatly blessed you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want you to know that the program continues. So therefore, we are inviting you to join us tomorrow again, the same time, the same station. Thank you. Once again, I want you to know that I remain your brother, Pastor Abraham Dienibo. And with me tonight are Elder Kelvin Ibelechuku, Sister Damni Apollos, and Pastor Michael Ogobene. May God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Good night, everyone. Thank you, and God bless you. Amen.